home from a flat viewing y'all and I'm feeling so nervous but excited I'll tell y'all more when I get home but I feel really good about this one and I'm just really really hoping it works out prayers uh, up I need y'all closer but let's get closer So yes, <laughs> I am moving once again. <laughs> so this may come as a bit of a surprise to some of you all because you probably feel like you were just watching my last moving vlogs because it was just about a year ago. <laughs> I moved into this flat in July of 2021. So from the very beginning when I moved in with my current flatmate, she let me know that she would only be staying with me for one year because she, you know, had other plans and things like that. But then as the year went on, things changed. Then we were talking about possibly still living together. Um, we were talking about staying here in this flat another year. Then we were talking about moving out into another flat together. And then we were talking about living separately. And yeah, lots of conversations, lots of trying to figure things out. And now we are where we are today. Um, I basically decided that I want to pay a lot less than what I'm paying to live in this flat right now. Um, it was cute for the moment. And honestly, this has been my favorite place that I have lived in so far in London. Like, I love it here. I love my room. It's huge. <laughs> and I'm gonna miss that so much. But yeah, I'm just trying to be realistic with myself right now and my finances. You know, self-employed life is not a joke. Yeah. I'm just being 100% transparent with y'all. Um, so I want to save money because I also want to use, you know, the last six months of this year and next year to travel even more. So I'd rather, you know, be putting my money towards booking flights and hotels and Airbnbs and traveling than on some really expensive rents. I'm sure you guys can understand that. So now this has put me in a situation where I am once again looking for a new place to live and it is the worst <laughs> so because my lease is up at the end of next month i started casually looking i would say around maybe as early as like end of march april that's when i started casually looking but there wasn't much um to see because here like when you're trying to find a flat share most people do not post like vacant rooms until a couple months out sometimes one month out a couple weeks out so looking like really, really far ahead usually isn't that beneficial, but I was still glancing to see if anybody was being like an early bird and throwing things up there. When it got to around May, um, and especially once I got back from my Dubai trip, I started to go a lot harder with my search. Um, and yeah, it's <laughs> we are now one month out and I still have not found anything, y'all. I still haven't found anything. Um, I get on the spare room website multiple times a day and I keep refreshing and refreshing. Of course, if I was willing to just live anywhere, I probably would have found a place by now, but I have had really good living situations since I've been here in London. And of course I want to continue that streak. And I feel like it's so important to make sure you live in the right space. You live with the right person or people. So I am going to continue to be particular about that, but I still feel like it has been a lot harder this time around for some reason. Like, man, um, my first time, you guys may remember if you've been around for a while, the first time I was searching for a flat here in London, I did 14 viewings, 14 viewings. And I finally chose the 14th one because I was like, no, it needs to be the perfect fit, right? And it ended up being the perfect fit. But this time around y'all, it has been difficult to even schedule viewings, honestly. Like I said, I am refreshing Spare Room 24 seven, you know, looking at all these different ads and it has just been a struggle. Um, a lot of them are just kind of ruling me out immediately. Some people have explicitly stated that they do not want a flatmate who works from home. Rolls me out. Um, <laughs> the newest one, y'all, that I've been dealing with is the age max. Okay, there are some postings that say they don't want anybody older than 28. <laughs> 
So now, apparently, I'm too old to live in some of these flats. <laughs> oh my gosh, that makes me feel so good about recently turning 30. So of course, you know, I don't reach out to those. Um, and for some reason, y'all, so many people seem to have cats. So many of these postings um, say that there are cats living in the flat and I can't do it y'all I can't do it I have definitely come a long way when it comes to my fear of cats since I've been here in London because they're just everywhere like walking around outside and stuff but I still don't think I'm in the place where I want to live with a cat like I don't think I will be comfortable at all like I would be scared so obviously I'm not going for those either there's been some postings that I saw that I was interested in I reached out and the poster just never responded to me or they got back to me saying that they had so many viewings already lined up that they weren't accepting anymore yeah i mean that's out of my control so far i have only done three in-person flat viewings the first one it went well um but i knew that the room was just too small the room was just too small and over the time that i have lived here in london i've accumulated a lot of clothes y'all and <laughs> my plan is though my plan is to get rid of like maybe like 40 to 50 percent of my wardrobe before i move out of this flat if you follow me on instagram then you know that i was talking about having like an in-person pop-up shop where i sell like a lot of my clothes for the low so definitely stay tuned for that if you're here in london and you're interested um, but even if I got rid of like majority of my clothes, like that space would have still just been too small for me. Um, a lot of these rooms that I'm seeing are just very small. And yeah, I just, I need a little bit more space, especially going from the amazing room that I have right now. Like, yeah, I just still want to feel comfortable, obviously. So that one, you know, wouldn't have made sense for me um and then the second one it's kind of hard for me to talk about it y'all but i did a viewing and i knew i wanted it right away like i loved it the situation would have been perfect it was a live-in landlord who wasn't gonna be um in the flat often like it just seemed like a really great fit um for what i'm looking for right now and the room was a great size i was really 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 excited about it um, I put in an offer on it and I thought it was a good offer, but I didn't get it y'all. I did not get the flat. I had been in contact with a guy that was hired by the landlord to like, you know, facilitate everything. I think he's just like with a letting agency. Um, and he let me know that the landlord said it was a very difficult decision, but she ended up going with somebody else. I was very sad y'all. I had... I had some tears I had some tears because I I was really 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 betting on that one and I felt really good about it and yeah I mean this is a very transparent video y'all like I feel like I've been dealing with a lot of disappointment this month and it's been hard it's been it's been really difficult to deal with um but I know I have to just keep pushing and the day that I found out that I didn't get the flat I actually had a session with my therapist <laughs> um, which just came right on time and we were just talking about you know changing those thoughts again and trying to look at rejection as redirection and I actually love that so much because I really do believe you know every time that I have faced rejection or something that I really really wanted you know didn't work out for me or you know, I didn't get chosen for something or whatever it may be I feel like I have almost always ended up with something 10 times better than what I thought I wanted at the time um, it doesn't always happen immediately which is okay but I feel like it always makes sense in the end so of course initially like I was really hurt um, because I have been so 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 stressed out about this flat search process because time is winding down and I felt like I finally had it you know what I mean like I felt like it was finally gonna be a weight lifted off my shoulders and yeah it, it kind of felt like I was getting kicked while I was already down y'all <laughs> it really did but I feel a lot better now um I know that I have to just keep going 
keep searching keep refreshing that page and seeing what comes up um i did another flat viewing yesterday i don't know what the outcome of that one's gonna be i thought it was nice um i kind of wanted to stay in the same area that i have basically lived in for the last three years but um this viewing was in a totally different area on the other side of london um but i'm not opposed to it honestly i'm not opposed to it especially y'all like the way this search is going right now like i feel like i can be picky on some things but there are some things i'm gonna have to be willing to compromise and bend on and location might be one and i'm also looking at it like Maybe this is supposed to be, you know, a fresh start for me if I end up, you know, moving to a different area. This whole London experience has always been about jumping out of my comfort zone. And though I feel really comfortable in the area I live in now, you know, maybe it's time to switch things up. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might end up finding a perfect place that's in this area. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what's going to happen? All I can do right now, y'all, is to remain optimistic um to lean on faith because i really feel like right now that's all i have to lean on honestly because i i don't have the answers i don't know how things are going to look a month from now um but i just have to believe that uh everything that god is doing right now is for my good it's all for my good so even the no's even the disappointments the rejection it may just be protecting me from something you know um and i think that is what is keeping me positive right now and don't get me wrong i have my moments where i do not feel super strong you know i have my moments where i just have to cry it out because the stress can be really overwhelming but then we just you know wipe our face off and we keep it going because i cannot afford to just you know curl up into a ball and stay in my bed and hide from the world because eventually that's not gonna be my bed to sleep in anymore so I really really wish I had a crystal ball so I could just see how everything's gonna work out and you know not even just with this flat search process but just with everything in life because I feel like right now I'm in such a space of transition and change so much change you know over the last few years of of living here in London I've tried to be way more um, receptive to change and welcoming of it and sometimes it's still hard sometimes it's still scary but it has not let me down so far so yeah that's what's happening right now <laughs> that's what's happening um I believe something is gonna work out for your girl y'all it has to <laughs> it has to please please God so definitely put some prayers and well wishes up for me um if you know anybody who's looking for a flatmate let your girl know send them my way <laughs> i would love to have this sorted and taken care of before i go traveling with my brother soon like that would just be such a weight lift off my shoulders so yeah i will keep you guys updated your girl's moving once again don't know where but this is happening as always, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's very transparent video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.